We have this exponential problem on the board. We have x to the x equals 5 to the 2500. And of course, I could solve this by just kind of manipulating this exponent, but I don't want to do that because knowing me, I always want to use the Lambert W function. So let's look at that now. Basically, what I want to do is just want to use this tool over here. If we can get something into this form, you can see the simplification where we can just pull out the input x. And I've got more videos on the Lambert W function. You can check that out if you just, um, there's a playlist on the channel. So if you need more information, you can watch that one. Okay, to start with, what I'm going to do, let's take the natural log on both sides. We're going to have natural log of x to the x equals natural log of 5 to the 2500. Then I can just bring my x out in front, and we're going to have x ln x equals ln 5 2500. But what we want to do with our x, we got this situation here, but we need it to look like this in order to use this formula. So what I'm going to do, we can take this x and we can rewrite it as, um, we can always do this and write x as e to the ln x, noticing that this would just cancel and we get back our x. So if I do that, I'm going to just switch the order. So we're going to have ln x times our e ln x. And then now you notice we are in this format. We have um, the same input and exponent on the exponential e. So we, now we can take our Lambert W function on both sides. Okay, and then so using this, we're gonna get back ln x equals Lambert W ln 5, 2500. Then just using this definition of the logarithm, we can say this is the same thing as x equals e to the Lambert W ln 5, 2500. And then we could stop here, or we could use um, some type of computer to calculate this and get our solution. But we can actually get, in this case, we can get a clean, we, this is a case where we can get a good integer solution. So let's just look at this piece. Just wanna notice the um, factorization, the prime factorization of 2,500 is two squared times five to the fourth. Okay, so this is just a four right here. So what I can do, let's rewrite this and we'll bring, we can bring the 2,500 up front, but then I'm gonna use this um, factorization. So we're gonna write this as four times five to the fourth, ln five. And then when you look at it this way, you notice we can actually just by the logarithm rules, we could bring this back as the exponent. And so we can rewrite this as Lambert W five to the fourth, ln five to the fourth. And then we can go back, the same trick we used here on X, we can use it on five to the fourth. So we can write five to the fourth as E ln five to the fourth. So doing that and substituting that back or however you want to say it, um, we're going to have number W ln five to the fourth, E ln five to the fourth. And now we can use this formula again we have the same input and exponent. So this is gonna spit out just ln five to the fourth. Okay, so, and this is actually kind of the same steps that you would do if you did it um, without Lambert W. And that way it would be easier. Just, yes, just to be clear, this is, this is probably not the best way or the fastest way to do this because we do these extra steps, but then we still have to do this manipulation anyway. So we really don't gain anything except for that we get the enjoyment of using the Lambert W function. Anyway, so let's bring that back over here. So we're left with x equals e ln 5 to the 4th. This essentially cancels, and we're just left with 5 to the 4th, and that's the same as 625. I have two quizzes on the Lambert W function. I've got Lambert W function and Lambert W challenge. You can check that out. I'll provide a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.